Self talk, self talk, self talk. Shout out, self talk. Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? In today's video, I want to um, re upload this video that's been in my vault for a while, man. This was um, a video I uploaded last year after I got copyright strike by Premier Network and Charlamagne Tha God. Premier Network owns The Breakfast Club. I was exposing audio from Charlamagne Tha God and what he was saying on The Breakfast Club and uh, the Brilliant Idiots podcast. Those videos was doing wild numbers. Kwame reacted to some of them. And then that's when eventually when they clapped those videos. They sent me copyright strikes, two of them, back to back at nighttime. I woke up to two copyright strikes on my YouTube channel. Tried to appeal it, of course, didn't work. Uh, then I reached out to Premier Network. They didn't um, contact me back, of course. So that's when I started my second YouTube channel, Self Talk News. But it was called Self Talk Clips at the time. And I was just reposting my um, old clips and shit that I had deleted off my channel. With that being said, uh, let's get into this video. And then I'll be right back with my commentary. Still think I'm crazy? Mama's cooking, bitch. I've like told y'all this over and over. It's a lot of things that guys so did, especially when we were young, that, that we just didn't consider. Yeah. 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 No yeah. yeah. I'm married to my wife. Me and my wife dated for a whole year. She would not give me no pussy. Me and my wife hung out one Saturday night and she got sloppy drunk. Me and my wife dated for a whole year. She would not give me no pussy. Me and my wife dated for a whole year. She would not give me no pussy. Me and my wife dated for a whole year. She would not give me no pussy. Me and my wife dated for a whole year. She Something happened in the room with a couple of my dudes. I'm asking them to All right, so yeah, man. Um, as y'all can see, man, that was like all the audio combined that they copyright strike and I just put it into one clip. Do y'all hear what he said about his wife? He said his wife was basically playing hard to get and he got her sloppy drunk and then he took her home to his mama house or to the house or whatever. And he got him some of that P word. 
I keep telling y'all, I've told y'all this over and over. It's a lot of things that guys did, especially when we were young, mm-hmm. that were rape that we just didn't consider rape. And you, I'm married yeah. to my wife. Me and my wife dated for a whole year. She would not give me no pussy. Yeah, yeah. Me and my wife hung out one Saturday night, and she got sloppy drunk and, and passed out of my mama's house, and I got that pussy. No, <laughs> damn, why she was passed no. out? Yes, I mean she was fucking me back and all that, but she was really drunk. So I was, I, I, it was. I asked her yesterday. I was like, "Yo, did I rape you the first time we ever had sex?" And she looked and she goes, "I mean, in hindsight, yeah, no, no." <laughs> So um yeah man um Charlemagne the God is a is a predator in my opinion. Whether if you like that man or not, um that's just what he is. He's admitted it numerous of times how much of a freak that he is. I do use toys. It's not on myself. Okay, so you I'm in the bondage and stuff like that. S and M. Oh okay. You know what I'm saying? Gagging girls, handcuffing them, tying their legs. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of stuff. Putting knock in there. Yeah. Oh my god. Holding them up in front of the air conditioning. You're doing the, the most. Hit their paws. Yeah. Really? Choking them. Uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, the okay. Swings and all sounds that. Sounds like a rapist, doesn't he? Yeah. It sounds you can't like rape the willing, it. sir. What? It's not rape if you're married. It's it's a a yes, it is actually, Charlotte. No, it's not. How can you prove it? Yeah. Fresh out of college. You can't and talk you about hamsters to... after just talking about your butt. Like, that makes six dollars. <laughs> can we? Richard. Can I see what that mouth do over six dollars? <laughs> How much you got in me? Twenty-six dollars. No. You let me in if you run a train on you right now. What can you get for twenty-six dollars? You can buy me a drink for twenty-six dollars. Whoa. Can we slip something in your drink? Then take advantage of you. <laughs> Depends on how sly you are. He's interviewed women celebrities and go back and look at what he was doing. He was sniffing seats. I sniffed your chair last time you were here. You're a sick person. I know. <laughs> I did. I couldn't help person. it. You're, I mean, you just left. Mm. Mm. He was. He used to have this little bit where he would say the top five women he would uh, suck a fart out of their butt. Definitely suck a fart out your butt. Really? What's with the fart thing, though? It's like a bong hit. I'm wow. sucking a fart out your butt. What? What? I'm, I want you to hear her, so I'm put that in the song. <laughs> That'd be dope to hear you sing. <laughs> what? You know how that guy suck a fart out your butt, Jim? That is gross. <laughs> no, that's like he sucked a fart out your butt a certain way that you just can't get over. Patty LaBelle was on one of them. J Lo, Kelly Rowland, I believe, and I forget the other few. But Charlemagne God has done a lot of shit. He said a lot of shit over the years. Y'all can go back and look at those old Breakfast Club interviews on YouTube. Look at all the shit that he has said, even to those fourteen-year-old boys when he told them to go hide in a woman's closet and pop out. That's what DJ Envy said. She got us all iPods. And she's beautiful. Oh, See, and y'all at y'all the age where y'all can sneak in her dress room when she's getting dressed know, and she know, wouldn't trip. Know, you know what I'm saying? They could see her naked and they wouldn't that's trip. That's it's like, Janet. oh, it's just them. She get dressed in front of y'all. Hide, Hide in the closet, pop out yes. with the naked. I have to say I'm disgusted at how Sean means. You know what? He's 14 year old. You know, um, he's just a, a sexual deviant, man. He's just, he's sick in the head. You know, it's just, it's crazy, man. Um, you go back and go go to those older interviews. Look at, how, look at how he used to look at those women guests. And keep in mind, this is supposed to be a married man. I think his marriage is a fraud. I think that's just a, uh, a safety belt for him. You know what I mean? Um, when his wife came out and spoke spoke up for him, like about that situation, she made it worse in my opinion. She pretty much confirmed how she didn't even know what the fuck was happening. Charlamagne God is a sick motherfucker, man. Number one, he taught me how to eat ass. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Kelly. I learned how to eat ass because of the R. Kelly tape. That's true. Um, and... The come pee come thing is still one of the most legendary, incredible things I've legendary. ever seen in my life. I, I just could I still don't understand how a man could come and then pee right after coming and then come again. Mm. That happened. Wait, Mark. that happened. He busted a nut on this little 14 year old girl. Mm-hmm. Then he peed on me like it was like the sperm came out, pee came out, sperm came out again. And he told her, let it trip. Liquid sandwich, bro. 
I never seen no shit like that in my life. I don't see how people can defend this dude. He is one of those people that just, they got to go. In my opinion, like if, if you remove Charlemagne and God, what happens? Nothing. As far as like, there's no, oh my God, Charlemagne and God is canceled. What's going to go on? Like, how about less agendas being pushed? Look at how him and DJ Envy flirt with each other. You think Charlamagne and God want to do that? No, but they made that safe. Because Charlamagne can't flirt with his female, you know, the female guests that come up there no more. So what does he have to do? He has to get that sexual shit out on other men. Because it's okay for men to disrespect men like that. It's okay for Charlamagne and God to bring dildos and in interviews in front of Darnell Rollins. It's okay for Charlamagne and God to bring a mold of his ass and nuts to DJ Envy. That's your balls? If is you it, want him to be. It, what, the? what do you want him to be? Use your imagination, young man. Nah, All right? Hey! It's okay to disrespect males, especially black men like that in interviews. You think Charlamagne and God can do that shit to women in today's time? You think Charlamagne and God can sniff J Lo's seat in 2022? Nope. I guarantee he can sniff another man's seat and laugh at it. It's not going to be no pushback from that shit. So that sexual deviant, that energy, that demon that's inside of him, he has to get that shit off on Envy. When they're sitting there talking about how they touch each other asses and shit. When a male caller calls in, Charlamagne and God is asking a male caller, is he pitching a tent? Just as excited as you. Yeah, well, there's both some excited uh, morning people in there, y'all. Pitching a tent? <laughs> Are you pitching a tent? Am I pitching a tent? I don't know what that means, man. Only you would know what that Google, means, man. Google, Google, means, Google. There's so much more I can say about this dude, but I'm honestly getting disgusted talking about it. Because if this was anybody else, they would have been canceled. If that was R. Kelly in the interview doing this shit that Charlamagne and God was doing, they would have brought that shit up. If that was Bill Cosby doing shit like that in interviews, they would have brought that shit up. Like Kwame say, man, he's right about that shit. It is all about who we like. What a better way to control the society by making it all about likes and who we don't like. Let's see. I wonder if I could control a society by making someone who's innocent seem guilty based on whether we like him or not. See, I wonder if Mr. Brown is right about what he's saying is based on who we like. Because if Charlamagne guy was a motherfucker that the people dislike, his ass would be in jail somewhere or sued, especially sued. You know how many of them females? Hell, I done seen entertainers get sued for less. Oh, my God, he hugged me the wrong way. It made me feel uncomfortable. You know what I mean? I've seen people get sued like that. You got this dude actually sitting there asking women like about their sex life, and they say they don't even want to talk about it, and Charlotte and God will continue talking about it. I've seen so many women be uncomfortable being interviewed by that man. So that, in my opinion, man, his time is... Right now, he's just protected by a lot of high-powered people that go around sending cease and desist and copyright striking people channels when you play their fucking audio. You know what I mean? So um, that's the type of power that he has. And that was back then. He's more powerful now because they more connected and tied to a lot of fucking networks and um, businesses and shit. But again, yeah, man, I just want to um replay that old video for y'all, man. Salute to y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button, man. It helps the video. It helps the channel grow. 
It helps y'all stay connected with my content. Um, trust me, y'all. I'm going to focus more on my content, man, for real. I've been lacking because I wasn't motivated, but I was trying to stay disciplined by uploading content. Now I'm back motivated. I'm back, like, getting a groove of editing, man. You know, I was just, I was tired of it. I was burnt out. But, you know, I was still just, like I said, that discipline, man. You got to stay disciplined no matter what. Don't give up. Keep pushing through that shit. And then eventually, you know, all that hard work, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pay off. So salute to y'all. I appreciate y'all. And hit the share button, man. Share it on y'all Facebook, bro. Like, that shit helps me out, man. And uh, and make sure y'all hit that like button. And this is Self Talk. The Self Talk News. Salute. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I see why want to play your videos. I see why self talk, self talk, self talk. God damn, bro. Get along, gang. Go along, get along, go along, get along. Get along, gang. Go along, get along, go along, get along.